Y'all, so today I got part two of the truck, so I'm just gonna strip out the inside and strip off like the wheel wells and like the side panels and stuff, and then just load it all up in the back. Hopefully I can get the cab off, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, because I don't know when we're bringing it to the guy who's painting it, so that's, I, that's up for grabs. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to take it off, maybe I won't, hopefully I will. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. So I got all these small lights and all the trim off and uh, I know you're supposed to slide that stuff off but uh, these things were so rusted so it just would not come off so I just kind of had to pry them off and some of them just disintegrated when I did um, but we're going to get new trim anyway so it didn't really make a difference.
this out and uh, it's a complete mess. I have to put it back in just to start it and uh, move it back into the garage. I'm going to try to get the vents out now and then take that back black piece off. Plugged in to make it start, but uh, I'm not really sure, so moment of truth, really. Oh, here we go. No, darn it, are you kidding? Okay. Well, that's depressing. Test two, hopefully I fix that. Hey, there we go. So I got ahead of myself and I already took the hood off. And now I need to take the bumper off, the front off, and all these side panels off to get the cab off. And then the steering wheel. But um, I'm also going to go ahead and take this fan cover off because the thing's just rattling out of control and it's cracked. So I get just shaking everywhere whenever I start it. Uh, this is as far as I can go. Um, it's supposed to rain for the next few days and I don't have a place to keep the cab. So uh, we just have to pull it in as it is now. I have like all the parts in the back and the doors are through in there in the garage and the side panels are sitting beside me. I just kind of wanted to get a video out to y'all. I hate not posting. Even though this is only disassembling the truck, it's still work on this project. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. I have to go ahead and pull this thing in. <laughs> also, I screwed up the key somewhere in the wiring harness so it doesn't turn on. So I have to just turn the key to the alt position and then just jump the solenoid to start it. <laughs> So I'm going to pull it in now.